Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze the Bitcoin price and also we're gonna have a look where the DXY and the CME stopped on the Friday. So welcome to the weekend. We have playtime. So let's see what Bitcoin is gonna do during this weekend. We have some bullish and also some bearish signs. So currently you can see that the price is falling from the support that in theory we created here at $16,000. But don't worry, weekend action is always like that. We always see usually pump and dump scenarios and then the price retraces back to where we close the CMEs on Friday. So currently the price is falling and my target is here to reach this $15,800, the main support of this wedge that we are in currently. It used to be an ascending triangle and right now it could be also a rising wedge if we're not able to push higher than the resistance up here at $16,600. So let's first have a look where the CM is closed on Friday because here in the four hour time frame you can see that we had a close at $16,325 so most likely we're gonna retrace back to this level wherever the price is going during the weekend and if we go over into the DXY you can see that the DXY was falling here towards our new support currently at around 92.60 and also after getting a sell signal here you could see that we followed here to the downside and we should expect here still some continuation to the downside which of course is in favor for the Bitcoin price. So I don't expect during the weekend like a big crash or anything like that. I'm expecting to stay here in this price range between 15,800 and up here in this resistance of around 16,000. $600 and since we are still in a very big uptrend here I think we will see continuation to the upside but of course there are a lot of warning signs that could lead into a massive crash because don't forget Bitcoin likes to rise up during a bull market step by step creating always new supports and slowly go up but when we have a massive correction or a big dump then we just take the elevator and crash down towards a main support level and then from there on we're gonna start all over again so that's why if we're gonna have a correction probably will be just a big huge Darth Vader candle to the downside potentially to test a very important support and then slowly come back up again and this is what I'm prepared for so I have already my longs set and also buy orders at the price level that I think it's good to buy more Bitcoin if we're gonna have such a dump but opening up right now new long positions or also buy more Bitcoin in my opinion is still very dangerous so if you are in the boat already since lower prices then of course right now you should be sitting into very nice profits but if you're buying right now big stacks of Bitcoin or open up big long positions and be very careful because we have very huge warning signs that could lead into a massive correction before we continue our way towards new all-time highs. And you can also see my own indicator that after getting here a sell signal in the four hour time frame, we started a correction. And I think this area down here at around $15,800 is very likely to be the bottom here for this signal. And we're gonna continue here towards to the upside, so towards $16,600. Only if we would have a four hour close below $15,800 and also confirm this new resistance, then I think we could have a complete retracement back down potentially towards the 200 moving average in the four hour which currently is lining up at $13,500 and this is where I think it's also good to open up long position especially if maybe we have such a dump during the weekend or maybe next week because this area down here was previously a very important resistance which now should be turning into huge support and of course I'm also waiting for my own indicator to get a buy signal so we are good to go to the upside again. And if we go over into the daily time frame, you can also see here that currently the nine day moving average is right here at our support at $15,600. So as long as we're gonna have daily closes above the nine day moving average, we will remain on our way to the upside only as soon as we're gonna close below, then be prepared to see a correction at least towards the 20 daily moving average right here at $14,600. And if this one doesn't hold, then we could have a complete retracement back down 
towards the main support of this channel that we created here in the last couple of weeks and this would bring us here towards twelve thousand to eleven thousand two hundred dollar also here in the daily time frame we got several sell signals we also had some bearish divergences so it is very likely that we will see a correction at this point but of course if FOMO is kicking in and also if Bitcoin is just ignoring all these warning signs and push higher towards the all-time high of 20k we could be going first into new levels before we go to see such a retracement and that's why my friends if you want to trade with leverage make sure that you're longing the dips that you're waiting for correction to open up new long positions because during an uptrend it's much way safer and also you can do much more gains like that don't try to catch the tops and try to short the rallies because this is very very dangerous during a bull run you can do that during a bear market but during a bull run you should consider to wait for good long opportunities so you have to wait for nice dips nice corrections because they will happen and you just have to be ready once we're gonna see such a quick move to the downside and if we go over into the Bollinger Band in the daily time frame, you can see that currently we're still trading on the bullish side. So even if we would close here below the first moving average here, so below the 9 day moving average, we could fall towards the 20 daily, which is at 14,600. And in the worst case, we could have a massive correction down towards $12,500. So I think even though we could go lower towards $11,000 still, probably we're gonna close here within the Bollinger Band if we see a daily candle going below $12,500 the dollar because this is currently the bottom here of the Bollinger Band and even if we could go lower than that we most likely at, the, at least at the beginning gonna close daily candles here at $12,500 so those are our targets in case of a massive correction and if we go over into the weekly time frame you can see that also here we're getting a bit exhausted I also updated here the Fibonacci retracement from the bottom that we had in March till the top here at $16,500. So if this was the local top right now, then be prepared to see a correction at least towards the 0.236 Fib line here, 13,500. If this one will not hold, be prepared to see 11,600. And in the really worst case scenario that Bitcoin has a full retracement back down to the 0.618 Fib line, because Bitcoin usually likes to correct down to the 0.618 fib line this is currently at $8,700 which is also coinciding with our previous resistance which now is new support this red line that you can see over here and this trend line is coming from the top that we had at 20k and the top that we had in 2019 here at 14,000 so Bitcoin could even go towards 9k this is still in the cards but if this scenario is gonna be likely I don't think so in the worst case scenario in my opinion we will just come down towards the 20 weekly moving average here at $11,500 and most likely bounce from it there should happen something really big that Bitcoin could go again sub 10k because currently we are looking so bullish and the trend is definitely shifted to the upside and I don't think that all the buyers and bulls will let the price go so low so the most orders I think are already set here between 12,500 to 11,500 and that's why I don't think it is very likely that the price could go lower than that unless of course something huge is gonna happen and with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now enjoy your weekend also if you like this content make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and also check out all the links that you find down below here in the video description with my links especially the ones for femex and bybit you can get some extra bonus also using these voucher codes so if you put the first deposit on those exchanges you get also some extra money to trade with and please also join my free discord trading chat we have a great community over there and this is also where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals on bitcoin so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye